Hi everybody, it's Agnes. I've got a really interesting viewer's question today. It's by Sonalika. Sonalika, you've asked, I'm currently reading Your Faith is Your Fortune by Neville Goddard. I got confused with daydreaming. He mentioned you rise to a higher level of consciousness by taking your attention away from your present limitations and placing it upon that which you desire to be. Do not attempt this in daydreaming or wishful thinking, but in a positive manner. Now, this daydreaming or wishful thinking confused me. How to distinguish between daydreaming and thinking it, of it in a positive manner? Looking forward to hearing from you. So, good question, Sonalika. It's very much about, I'll explain this as simply as I can. When you're sitting in a chair, looking out the window, having a little daydream, you're, you're kind of just wandering around, having a little thought, thinking, oh, it'd be nice if I had that, yeah, and then you wander off to something else. So you're kind of skimming over the top of things. You're not really deliberate. You're not in a I'm here, the thing I want's there, and I'm going to create a line of energy between me and it by deliberately doing it in a positive manner, okay? So let me, let me explain it like this. When you make a cup of tea, you put the tea bag in, okay? And you, put, you boil the kettle, you put the hot water on the tea bag, and the tea bag's fresh, so you get a really good, strong cup of tea, and if you want, you add your milk and sugar or your lemon or whatever it is. So you get a good, strong cup of tea, okay? It's infused. So your positive manner is like that first cup of tea and that first infusion. Some people use that tea bag a second time. Now, you can still make a cup of tea, but it's watered down. It's not as strong. It's not as infused as that first cup of tea. So your daydreaming and your wishful thinking is like using the tea bag a second time. It's you still got, you know, a bit of a bit of connection, but it's kind of a smoky outline. It's not a clear line of energy. Okay, it's like looking at fog. It's not direct. It's floating over in that direction, but it's not clearly defined because you're not doing it with intent, with focus, with the discipline and with that amazing feeling, putting that in there. Okay, so think of it that way. That was kind of the best analogy I could come up with to make it clear and simple. Great question. I, I do love dissecting Neville, as you know. And it's one of my favorite subjects. So love that you're reading it and love that you're asking questions about what is he talking about. So thank you for sending your question in and I hope that helps. I will put the Neville Nuggets series that I did about dissecting little bits of Neville down in the description below for those of you that haven't seen it. And also I want to re-mention the Meditations Only channel, which is meditations for self-love and specific person and relationships and meaningful work that are on my second channel. For those of you that have already seen the meditations on this channel, but they don't have music and they some of them have got ambulances and police alarms in the background because I was in an Airbnb when I recorded them. So the meditations channel is a lot more clean and a lot more just it's grown it's become better and there's music in the background and no ambulances or police sirens so yeah the description down below has got the details for those things lots of love